In the diagram below, AC has endpoints with coordinates A negative 5 comma 2 and C 4 comma negative 10. If B is a point on AC and AB is proportional to uh, BC by a ratio of 1 to 2, what are the coordinates of B? So this question comes up all the time on the Regents, and this is actually a similar triangle question in disguise. So we're looking for a point uh, that's in between AC, and that point is going to be labeled with the letter B. Uh, so I don't know where that point is, okay? So I'm just going to place it there. I do recognize that the point should be somewhere closer towards A um, than it is towards point C. And the ratio between uh, said point or the distance from one endpoint to point B and then from point B to the other endpoint has to have a ratio of 1 to 2. So uh, I don't know what that length is. So from A to B, I'm going to call that length there A, I mean, or N. And then the length from B to C, I'm going to call 2N. Again, it has to retain that ratio of 1 to 2. So if I drop a line down and uh, I draw the horizontal and vertical component that links A to C, I can see now that I have actually two similar right triangles. Why, is it, why are they similar right triangles? Well, that's because both triangles that you see here, uh, they both share angle C and they both have a 90 degree angle there. So these two triangles are going to be similar based on angle angle theorem. So looking at this right now, I know the full horizontal length of the large right triangle that will have a length of, let's see here, two, four, six, eight, that will have a length of nine and the full vertical length of the right triangle there will have a length of, let's see here, two, four, Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I don't know where point B is, um, but I'm, so I'm going to call the horizontal component of this small right triangle there. I'm going to call that X, and I'm going to call the vertical component of the small right triangle Y. Again, this is a... Uh, these two triangles are similar, so therefore the corresponding sides will share uh, a uniform ratio. So if I take the, uh, the base of the small right triangle and compare that with the large triangle, base of the large triangle, so that's x over 9, that proportion should hold true with the vertical component. So I can say y over 12. And this same ratio will hold true for the hypotenuse as well. So the uh, hypotenuse of the small right triangle is 2n, and the large, and the hypotenuse of the large right triangle is 3n. Notice now the n's cancel, right? And what I have here is actually two different equations. I have x over 9 is equal to 2 thirds, and I have y over 12 is equal to 2 thirds. Both of these expressions equal to 2 thirds. I can solve for x now. I'm going to multiply both sides by 9. And if I do, I'll end up with 6. I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. And if I do that, I will end up with y is equal to 8. So looking at the situation now, point C is located at 4 comma negative 10. C is 4 comma negative 10. So to get to point B, what we're going to do is we're going to move 6 units to the left of C, right? So horizontally, we're going to move 6 units to the left, right? I'm going to use a different color here. So we're going to move to the left 6 units, and then we're going to go up uh, 8 units. So how are we going to... So where will that land us then? Well, we're going to do 4 minus 6, and then we're going to do negative 10 plus 8. And that will land us with negative 2 comma negative 2. So point B will have, a co will have coordinates of negative 2, negative 2. And if you look at 
you know, my original placement of where point B is, it is relatively close there, but um, not quite on that um, exact point, but it is relatively close. Uh, negative 2, negative 2, that would be option 1.